Welcome to a, in my opinion, a really, really cool Power World video. This is going to be a few different ways of cheesing and being able to beat slash capture the Jetragon. Jet Dragon? Jet Dragon? However you say it. This guy right here, one of the final bosses in Power World, he is pretty damn good. He is difficult to beat. But with these methods, you'll be able to do them at mostly any level. I've said any level before and people say, well, you can't do level 1. Obviously, you can't do it at level 1. But I mean, if you're a lower level than 50, you can do this very, very easily. If you enjoy this video at all or found any of it helpful or gave it a go yourself, please let me know down in the comments and leave this video a like and subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So... The first thing we're going to do today is, we'll go through this one very quickly because I've already done it before in a video. So, I'm going to be doing this lava pull technique. So what you need to do is you need to have a flying mount and you need to aggro him so he comes over to you. So uh, he's taken some damage. So what I need to do is I need to get him into this place right here. You need to dodge some of his attacks because they are pretty damn good. There we go, now we've got him in. We keep him behind this little rock on this side of the mound. The closer you get to him, he will probably try and hit you. But you can come over to this area, right here. Just dodging his attacks. There we go. You can now stand on this mound right here. And for some reason, he does not hit you. Even if you hit him like this. Look at that. Look how cool it is. So I can just get my rifle out, shoot him in the head, nothing happens. He does not aggro at all. So if I place one of my pals over here, ones with range damage are better. I'm going to use the Pengulet for example. For some reason I've got him to level 50. He will do ranged attacks and he will not aggro at all. So in my opinion, I think the best ranged attack pal that you could possibly do, especially for this situation, is the Relaxosaurus. Because if you keep him in an area where he only does ranged attacks, they do no knockback damage, so he won't be jolted to actually hit you. You just need to throw him over there so he doesn't run towards me. There? Yeah, that should be it. There we go. So if you angle it right, he will just sit there and do so much damage to him, and he'll just continuously do the damage. No real knockback. Very, very good damage as well. Consistent damage. So this is the best one in my opinion. So we'll move on to number two. So this method is probably the easiest one by an absolute mile. It is the quickest, it is very very simple. However, you cannot capture him, you can only kill him. Because, if you look at this technique that I've shown on screen, you can use the Chillet or another Ice type pal that would end up freezing him. And once you have frozen him, get a rocket launcher out and absolutely go ham on him and just shoot that rocket at him. And as you can see, he goes absolutely flying in the air. And when he lands, it does 58,000 damage to him. I'm not sure if this is normal, if they always do 58,000 damage, but I think it's always enough to kill him. So it is just a really, really cool technique if you need to farm XP and get the stuff that he drops, but you cannot catch him. So in one of my recent videos, I showed how to actually capture any of the overworld bosses. So for example, things like this one here, the King Packer as well, uh, the Anubis is what I used. So the fact that you can do that without them even touching you once using the viewing cage method is actually a thing. And one of my comments on a TikTok I recently posted, somebody asked, can you do this with the Jet Dragon? And the answer to this is yes, you can actually. So the first step you want to do is you want to build a PAL box and you need a bit of foundation. So I've just done two wooden foundations here. You can easily mine these trees down just to get the wood, but then you need to place it down and it's fairly close to the spawn. So as you can see, I'm right here. This is basically the closest part you can get. And then you need to build the viewing cage. It can be quite difficult to get in place because it's quite an uneven ground, but somewhere around here you'll be able to get it to actually build you might need to fiddle around a little bit I th I've managed to do this once and I'm on fire so just by this location here there was a small stone man which you can mine which would have been somewhere around here I've just mined it and now you can go ahead and build the viewing cage right here so I'm going to build it facing out towards that way like that perfect so you don't want to build it you want to leave it like this and now we want to go over and aggro this guy right here. Where is he? 
There he is. Hello, mate. All right, let's go. So, I want to get off him now. Make sure he comes over to me. And just stand on the other side of this. As you can see, he does not aggro on me. So what we now need to do is we need to spawn our flying mount inside of this. And he will try and go for him. But we don't want to do that. So now we are inside this area right here. You can't dismount for some reason when you're inside this. So we need to go into the party. We now need to drop. Pick him back up. And now, once we're in here, he will just sit here. And he won't do anything. So we can just go ahead and slice him like that. We can sit here for as long as we want. I'm just sat here testing out different powers to help me out take this guy down. And it turns out the chiller is actually pretty good. He doesn't seem to run backwards. And he just seems to do some really, really good firepower as well. Sets him on fire so he does extra damage. Nice. Look at that. It's worth to note, while you're trying to capture him, if he then escapes the ball, he will then spawn in the middle of the viewing cage, meaning that he can then go and attack you. So you need to be very, very quick with re-throwing the ball to try and capture him again, because he will try and kill you, and it is very, very tense, but it'll be fine. As long as you time it right, it'll be all good. Here is a very cool little bonus clip for you here. So it's kind of a glitch, but it's kind of not at the same time, because it's one of the game's mechanics. So if you use the Jet Dragon's special missile ability like I am on screen here, you can keep spamming it one after the other, one by one, and it goes down very slowly. And as you can see, it makes him ragdoll and absolutely cheeses it so he cannot make any attacks and the health slowly goes down. The health will go down very slowly. You can actually carry on doing this until he dies because there is a method where you can simply refresh this ability very, very quickly. You can refresh the ability very, very quickly by going into your party. You have to time this right because he might actually end up attacking you. And then dropping the power that you have. So you drop the jet dragon, pick it back up, and if you remount onto him, he will then have that ability all sorted again, as you can see. You can then restart it. It's so, so cool. So handy. That part is a glitch, but I think this is really really little goofy little glitch I like it so we are now moving on to the final glitch and it is last but not least it is the method where you go down on this little rock right here and he'll go shooting over you you just need to aggro him get him to come over here and he should follow you down if he just goes flying you have to avoid some of these attacks this one's a painful one so it's very easy just to avoid get him to aggro again and he should follow me off the edge Come on. So what you need to do with him is you need to aggro him and make sure he is very close by and after he has used all of his range attacks, he will then start to chase you. So as it's shown on screen here, he just follows you right from behind, you just fly off the edge and look at that damage. Oh my god, how cool is that? And now we can just try and capture him. I'm going to continuously try and capture him because he is very low. Oh, go on, first time? No. How nuts is that? It's such a simple little way of doing it. Although he doesn't seem to be willing to come in the ball, which is very annoying. Come on. Last try. Come on. Right. That's not very nice, is it? He's on 16 HP. There we go. What an ass! He didn't let me capture him. That's really annoying. But it's a very, very cool technique. And if you have better luck than I do, then you will be able to do it. What is going on with my guy? So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and there are any recommendations you could give me, let me know down in the comments down below. If you could like and subscribe to the channel, that'd be very much appreciated. Thank you very much and goodbye.